Welcome, 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 everyone. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, welcome, 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 welcome. My name is Favor Ebune. So happy to see you guys. I'm super duper excited. I'm super duper excited to be here. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the day two of the conference. Who is excited? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm super duper excited to see you all because today promises to be amazing. Who is excited, guys? I want to see the comment session rolling, rolling, rolling. Welcome to the day two of the fifth edition of the True Women's Conference. True Women's Conference is a representation of the True Women's Foundation and is geared at developing and empowering young women in Africa at large. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm super excited, guys. So I want us to do something. I want us to do something right now. Please go and invite your friends right now. Welcome anywhere I can see you. Welcome. I want you to go and invite your friends. Go and tell them that we are live. We are live right now. Go and invite your friends. Tell them that the, we are live. We are live right now. Yeah, hello. Hi, I can see you all. Welcome, welcome to the second edition. Welcome to day two of the fifth edition. You all are welcome. You all are welcome. I'm super excited. I can see the comment session rolling because today is going to be awesome today is gonna be awesome it's the second day and the last day of the conference so you do not want to miss it so if there's anyone you have invited for this program you do not want the person to miss today yesterday was amazing we had a lot of dms uh, reviews and whatnot we had a lot of calls coming in because of the conference yesterday the speakers were on fire they were amazing and you do not want them to miss today's edition you do not want them to miss today's session because the convener is on fire the person coming in today deborah ijoma she's already getting ready to to give us some explosives <laughs> so you do not want to miss it Invite your friends, go and go and give them some DMs, invite them to come. We are live right now. We are live. We are live. So I want you all to go now. Go now. We are waiting. Go and invite your friends. Go and invite your friends. Yesterday was amazing. Yesterday was amazing. Can someone give us a fire emoji? Because yesterday was amazing. If you if you got something from yesterday, I would want you to drop on the comment section, some nuggets that you got from yesterday's session, either from Blossom OB or from Janet is a seller. If there's any nuggets you got, drop it on the comment section. I want to see them. I want to see them. I want to see your nuggets. I got one from Blossom OB and it says that I will always show up no matter what. I will show up. Blossom OB taught us about developing the growth growth mindset and it was an amazing session because we had the mindset the, the growth mindset and the scarcity mindset and i choose to follow the growth mindset because i always want to grow and i would always always show up please 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 keep on dropping the nuggets that you got go and invite your friends if you know anyone that should be here call them they need to be here and remember what janet is a seller told us you do not want to eat alone you need support systems you need to invite your friends to be here because you do not want them to miss today's session from deborah ijoma because it promises to be explosive Go and invite your friends. Go and invite your friends. Keep on anticipating. I hope you're all with your writing materials because I'm with mine here. I'm with my pen and my paper because you're not just going on learning. I'm also learning too. I hope you're with your writing materials. Keep on anticipating. Keep, on, keep up with that expectation because it is it's going to help you keep up with the questions keep questions rolling. If there's any questions you have, keep it up. Ask and the um the convener is going to answer you if you have any questions. So um, we are going to move on to the next agenda. You do not want to miss this session. Have you invited your friends? You know, okay, I can see some nuggets from anywhere. Yes, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Yes, yes, I can see it. Keep it rolling. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Yes, this shows that we all got something from, from yesterday and today is going to be awesome. 
you do not want to miss it today is going to be awesome and for the um business exhibition i hope you guys are all anticipating the winners because they're going to be announcing the winners today they're going to be announcing the winners today i am super duper excited you don't want to miss this do not log out though you do not want to miss this oh my god twc is really a blast it has really um, um, kept our mind blowing. All right, all right. Okay, we're going to be diving in because we have our next, our speaker, our first and only speaker for today, Deborah um, Ijoma, and she's going to be speaking with us now. So I'm going to be welcoming her. Deborah is a transformational voice, an idea launch strategist, a visionary leader, a capacity leader. With a deep-rooted commitment to empowering individuals, her vision is to create a ripple effect of positive change. She believes that when individuals tap into their authentic life and embrace their unique gifts and launch innovative yet income-producing ideas, they not only elevate their own lives, but also create impact that cause ripple effects and inspire others to do the same with a fire emoji in the comment section with a dancing emoji with with, with, a, with a fire emoji a clamp innovation can we make welcome deborah ijoma <laughs> you're welcome you're welcome hello everyone good evening thank you so much for having me here it's such a pleasure to have you here and I don't want you just here, you know, maybe <clears throat> you're here to mark attendance and all of those things. And I don't just want this to be another meeting where you're just coming and you're like, mm, let's just go and see if our lives will change. I want you to make a firm decision that everything you're going to be listening to today, everything you're going to hear, everything you're going to absorb, you're going to do more than just listening. You're going to sit with it and you're going to create a roadmap for execution for yourself. Is there anybody here that is going to promise me that they're going to take action based on what you're learning today? Is there anybody? Can I see your hands up if you're going to take action on what you're learning today? Can I see any hands up or should I go back? If there's no one that's going to take action, let me take my goodies back. Because what you're going to be learning today is clarity for execution. And why clarity for execution here? Yeah? Clarity for execution in the sense that there's so much you can do, so much you can be. There's a higher level that you can step into. And until you shun out the noise, shun out the distraction and say, oh, I'm going to step into my next self and I'm going to embrace execution. Then there's every tendency that you'll be best friends with distraction, you'll be best friends with drama, but that's not supposed to be your life. Tell me that's not my life. That's not my life. And I believe that's not your life too. And just before I dive deep into what I'm about to talk or share with you here it's important that you understand three major things here your life is more than just your life i know all through the conference we've been talking about you know the fact that there's room for more we are made for more there's so much you can be there's so much you can grow into i also need you to firmly understand that we're not just teaching you all of these things that we're teaching you because oh your life is just there we're teaching you all of these things because your life is a circle of ripple effect. So the influence you acquire today, the impact you make today, the income you grow, you know, and then you become intentional about growing and all of those things, is not just for only you. It has the ability to not just only change your life, but change a generation at large. So if you're looking for a reason why you should embrace the more that is resident on the inside of you, that's going to be the first reason. Now, the second reason why you're supposed to embrace the more that is on the inside of you is because there's so much you can be and you're only limiting yourself to your current level or to the 2% of yourself or to the five percent of yourself i want you to lean in tonight and ask yourself what would my life be 
if I am operating at 100%, what would my generation be like? What would my family be like? What is my more life about? What is my full life about? How would my health benefit from me living more? How would my friendships benefit from me living more? How would my businesses, how would my work, how would my career, how would my relationship with God, how would everything about me, you know, benefit from me living more? And that's the question that I want you to lean on, even as you spoil yourself to taking actions. So how many of us are ready to dive deep tonight and learn about all that we need to embrace so that there's clarity for execution? How many of us are ready? How many of us are ready? I would love to see the energy. Love it. Francisca is ready. Who else is ready? Deborah is ready. I don't know about you, but then Francisca and Deborah is ready. And if two of us are ready, we're good to go. Admin, amazing, amazing. Any says she's ready. Admin, my slide, please. Thank you so much. Energy, yes, I love it. I love it. And the same energy you're using to say I'm ready, that's the same energy I would love for you to, you know, use for implementation. And yes, I'm going to share a couple of things with you today, but I would also need you to connect with me. So in case there are more questions that you have after this session, in case there are things that you listen to and you feel like you need a bit more clarity on, you know, feel free to reach out to me at Deborah Ijeoma and I would definitely, you know, shed more light and you can visit my website for more free resources and for more, you know, resources that help to hammer on this amazing so have you ever had a never again moment in your life where you're like you know what this smallness that we've been playing not anymore you maybe you know missed out on an opportunity because you were not a qualified fit and you're like you know what i'm never going to have to miss out on an opportunity again all that this opportunity will require if it requires me to grow myself if it requires me to build new habits it requires me to build new skills if it requires me to develop then i am going to do that have you ever had a never again moment or a never again moment can be also a moment in your life where you felt like oh there could be more i could be any more i could be living large i could be doing more i could be speaking to more people i could be impacting more life but it consistently feels like oh there's something holding you back there's like a strain or there's something it can be laziness it can be imposter syndrome or it can just be that you really don't even know how to step into that more how many of us currently feel that way or maybe a moment of tiredness where you're like you know what this um life that i have been living this random life that i have been living this smallness that i have been playing i'm no longer going to play with that kind of life in case you haven't had i have had i have had multiple never again moments in my life i remember one very vividly here yeah? i think i was in like 300 level in uni at the time and one of my friends had shared this really nice opportunity for me it was a scholarship to get into a program that i had been you know craving to be a part of and i knew that getting into that program would change my life completely i knew that getting into that program would give me the right resources it would also even help me with funding for my business it would allow me grow it would allow me be that more that i want to become but I had gotten premium access to it and all I needed to do was fill a form. Now in that form, they had just very few questions. I think about five to seven questions in that form. And I couldn't provide answers to most of the questions in the form. Not because I didn't have answers, but because I had not structured what I was doing. So I was living random. I wasn't the most intentional. I was just doing things, you know, as they come. Mm, I host one event here. I host one webinar there. I show up for one class. I take notes, but I don't implement all of those things. And because of that, I missed out on a very, very, very precious opportunity. Now for you, it might not be opportunities that you're missing out on. It might be just a chance to step into the more that your life carries, or it might just be just a chance to maybe work in a better organization or get a scholarship or get an award that can, you know, bring more visibility to the work that you're doing or land a better paying job or just an opportunity for you to showcase your expertise. Yeah, but because of the randomness that is surrounded or because of the randomness that you're surrounded by or because of the lack of this cool attitude that you have towards your work towards the things that have been committed to your hands yeah there's every tendency that oh 
you're missing out on opportunities. Esther says she has felt that way. Sonia says, you know, she has felt that way. A lot of people feel that way. Now, my goal today is to help you move because the truth is most of the delay we experience you know sometimes it just feels like oh people are wicked people are unfair they don't want to help us they don't want to give us opportunities they don't want to employ us so you consistently hear people say oh there are no jobs but there are jobs but you haven't just stepped into that version of you that can carry that job or there are opportunities but you haven't just stepped into that version of you that can take that and it might feel like oh you're experiencing a season of delay or you're experiencing a season of dryness and sometimes do you know that we even try to console ourselves so we say oh maybe god's time is the best or we're waiting for god to help us and all of those things but the truth is do you want to hear the truth who wants to hear the truth who wants to hear the truth now the truth is most times your 100% or let me not say 100% your 90% you know a major cause of your delays so it's not like oh nobody wants to help you or nobody wants to employ you or it's not like oh god even intentionally wants to punish you by keeping you on this small level so sometimes we say oh god uses problem to test us god uses poverty to test us god uses a small level to test us mm, while that's a black and white area to even talk about here yeah. the truth is sometimes god is even waiting on you to take action because every delay that you embrace can be you shutting yourself out of right prophecies so we're gradually getting to the end of the year and we're getting into that prophetic season where we go for you know watch night service we cross over to a new year we do new year new me we have new year new, um, resolutions and you're literally staring at the face looking at prophecies but because you've embraced denial well, because you've embraced delay, sorry, you're shutting yourself out of prophecies that are yours. I want to wait to say never again. Never again. That will not be the story of my life. Never again. I want you to say firmly and take a resolve today to never allow that be your story. And for every time you also delay, you're hindering your story. So there's a story written about you. So like today, when they were introducing me, they said, oh, Deborah Ijoma is this. She helps people do this. She has helped a so number of people. She's an awardee in this category. She is this. Oh, she's a member of this. You know, there are a lot of amazing things that people say when they talk about my story. Now, I can you permit me to remind you that you might also be delaying or hindering your own story because your story is supposed to be more powerful than where your story is at, at the moment. There's supposed to be more substance to your story. There's supposed to be lives attached to your story. There's supposed to be, you know, real results that you've been able to help people achieve, maybe in your organization, maybe in your personal life. There's supposed to be substance to your life. So for every time you embrace delay, for every time you say, oh, I put this idea that I have aside, for every time you say, oh, I would do it later, for every time you say, oh, I would play small, for every time you say, I would play random, you're hindering the powerfulness of your story. And that also means that you can be living below God's expectation for you. And that's when you start to feel restless. That's when you start to feel like, oh, this life, I don't even understand what this life is about. That's when you start to feel like, oh, what am I even doing with my life? That's when the dissatisfaction comes in. That's when the sadness comes in. That's when the comparison comes in. So you start to scroll on Instagram and you're seeing people who maybe don't even have as much qualities as you do, who maybe don't even have as much exposure as you do, doing amazing things. And you're saying to yourself, can there be more for my life? Now, tonight, I want to bring you into more. I want to give you the permission to birth that potential that's on the inside of you. And I want to give you the permission to step into the excellence of the inside of you. So this is going to be your call to structure your life, to structure your approach, to say, you know what? I'm no longer going to play small with my expertise. I'm no longer going to play small with my experiences. I'm no longer going to play small with my skills. I'm no longer going to play small with my story. I am going to be very intentional about this thing that I am doing, this thing that has been committed to my hand, this idea that I have. I'm no longer going to sweep it under the carpet. I'm going to embrace it and I'm going to hold it up 
for excellent execution. So you know how we talk about the, the um, servant that was given a talent, and most times we laugh at him. It's so easy to mock him and say, hmm, that one, no, they gave him one talent. Instead of him to use it, he went to bury it. For some of us, we've even done worse than he did. Some people have even gone as far as eating theirs, and that's not supposed to be your life's testimony. There's more for you. There's more you can become. And I know somebody now is like, okay, I know there's more that I can become, but then how exactly can I step into that more? I want somebody to ask me, how can I step into that more? So I can show you how exactly you can step into that more. I can show you how you can embrace clarity for execution. I can show you how you can push back with your excuses, push back with all of those things that you've been using to distract yourself, push back with all of those drama, you know, and see, you know what? I'm no longer playing small. Show me how. I want somebody to say, Deborah, show me how. What can I do? And then I will show you. If not, I'm going to keep my secret to myself. Perfect. So Ajela says, how exactly can I step in? How can I step in? How can I do more? The first thing you're going to need to do is lean in. And this is one thing that majority of us run away from. So we typically cloud our lives with every other thing. Oh, we cloud our lives with work. We cloud our lives with family. We cloud our lives with relationship. We sometimes even cloud our life with service in God's kingdom. You know, oh, I'm a worker in church. I'm in the protocol department. Oh, I sing in church. Oh, I do a lot of things. There's so much that you're doing. And sometimes we embrace these things as legit distraction so that we don't focus on what exactly we're supposed to be doing. So I want you to ask yourself today, what's the alternative that you're embracing? What is the alternative that you're embracing? Esther, what is the alternative you're embracing? Nafisan, what is the alternative you're embracing? I want you to ask yourself today, what is that alternative you're embracing? Oh, instead of me to be intentional about honing these gifts that God has given me, what is that alternative that I'm embracing? What am I using to pass time? Am I using that toxic relationship to pass time? Am I using that, you know, addiction to social media and TikTok, even when I'm not giving value? Am I using it to pass time? Or am I even using my work? And this is not to say, oh, don't work in 95 or don't, you know, do what you're doing excellently. But then what is that alternative you're embracing? For some of us, are we using random things? So God has called you to use your voice to speak about, you know, pressing issues. For some of you to use your voice, you're embracing distraction. You're saying, oh, I'll just do it anyhow. There's no strategy guiding what you're doing. Or maybe God has even, you know, called you to start a business. And yes, you've started. But instead of you to say, oh, I'm going to go all out. If it requires me working with a strategist like Deborah, if it requires me, you know, creating a solid strategy rather than playing guesswork, rather than doing things anyhow, I want you to ask yourself, lean in and say, oh, what is the alternative I am embracing? And how can I let go of that alternative? What is the alternative that is stopping me from experiencing a rich life? What is the alternative that is stopping me from experiencing more? Because the truth is, if you take all the courses, take all the classes, take everything, but you're still neck deep in distraction, then there's every tendency that you won't be able to step into more. There's every tendency you won't be able to execute excellently. So you need to let go of that distraction, of that alternative that you're embracing. So I want you to ask yourself, what is that alternative that I'm embracing and how can I let it go? For me then, I had to tell myself, oh, play small by just running my business this way isn't going to be the best. I need to step into the best use of my time. I need to step into the best use of my wisdom. I need to step into the best use of my skill set. So rather than embracing the alternative, which is just playing small, every day I wake up, I maybe sell two products, sell five products. I'm going to be the most intentional and go all out like this is the only option that I have. So for you, what, what is your own alternative? And what is the decision you're going to take today? A decision can be, oh, I'm going to structure my everyday life so that there's room for me to actually sit with this idea. I've been doing, oh, when I have time, I'll work on it. No. How about I say every day I'm going to spend one hour each doing research, honing my craft, leaning into it, speaking to experts like Deborah, asking, oh, what can I do? Do you see? So today is the day 
Remember in the beginning, we said never again. So today is the day you will embrace that never again decision. And you say, you know what? I'm no longer playing small. I am embracing my more. I want someone to type that in the comment section. Say, I'm no longer playing small. I am embracing my more. Now, when you decide to lean in and you say, you know what? I'm no longer playing small. I'm embracing my more. You let go of the alternatives that you're embracing. You structure your life, structure your day. You ask yourself, oh, what's the best way I can use the gifts that I have? Oh, I run a business at the moment, but nobody knows about my business. So now you need to start asking yourself, how exactly can I lean out? Who am I supposed to portray myself as? Who am I supposed to position myself as? Oh, yes, I run a footwear business, but then is there more to what I do? And how can I portray and position myself in a way that execution is very easy? For some of us, we run away from execution because we consistently ask questions like, oh, what if nobody buys? What if nobody listens? What if nobody watches? What if nobody pays attention? What if nobody signs up? But well, what if you flip that question and you ask yourself, who do I need to position myself as for people to listen? Who do I need to portray myself as for people to buy? Who do I need to show up as for people to embrace me? What are the things I need to let go of? Are you showing up enough for yourself for people to show up for you? Do you take yourself seriously enough for people to take you seriously? So these are the conversations that you need to start to have with yourself, not tomorrow, not next year. We are not waiting for January 1st, but tonight. So ask yourself, okay, who exactly should I portray myself as? Enough of you laughing at yourself when you talk. Or somebody says something amazing about you. Maybe somebody leaves a comment on your talent. Or you maybe sing well or you do things well. And somebody leaves a comment and all you do consistently is laugh at yourself. So you talk, ah, ha, ha, ha. it's not that serious. So I just do it on the side. Not anymore. What if you take that thing that you've been doing on the side and bring it to limelight? And say, you know what? I am going to embrace more with this thing. I'm no longer going to do it on the small. So the first thing you also need to do, yeah, is banish that side hustle mindset, side gig mentality. Oh, I just do it on the side. Oh, it's something I do to pass time. No. And tell yourself, I am going to do this intentionally. I am going to embrace my more. So you lean in, you say, oh, what's that alternative that I'm holding on to? Today, I let go of it. Then you lean out and you start to ask yourself, who should I portray myself as? How should I position myself? Who do I exactly need to be? If it feels like, oh, nobody is paying attention to you, nobody takes you seriously, ask yourself, who should I have to portray myself as for people to take me seriously? Are we following? Are we making new decisions tonight? Are we saying, oh, I'm no longer going to portray myself as a joke, but I'm going to portray myself as a person of value. And I would lean in to solve pressing problems. Amazing, amazing. I love to see that we're paying attention. And I love to see that we're making new decisions. Now, it's going to be impossible for me to have this conversation without talking about journaling. It's going to be absolutely, absolutely, absolutely impossible for me to have this conversation without talking about journaling. Because it's in the place of journaling that you will take stock of what is supposed to be. So I want you to challenge yourself and say, today is 3rd of December, 2023. What would my life be like if I no longer play small? Oh, I would be able to attract consistent opportunities. I will no longer have to chase opportunities. Opportunities will start to chase me. I will no longer have to lobby for things. Things will start to come to me. Ask yourself, what would my health be like if I no longer play small? What would my finances be like if I no longer play small? Oh, this business I've been running on the side, this NGO I've been running on the side, this foundation I've been running on the side, this assignment, this ministry, this thing that I have, you know, that I have been running on the side. How can I embrace more and become super intentional about it? This is what you will write in your journal. So it can be saying, oh, I no longer want to have to play this work. So you know what? I'm going to start seeking who can help me. What resources can I lean into? 
what resources can i read and that's why you know i'm going to be gifting everyone because i love the energy that you're bringing into the room i love the intentionality that you have i have a free guide that I typically give to people who have multiple ideas, multiple options, multiple things they're looking to explore. But they're like, okay, which one should I do? Should it be this? Should it be that? So if you send me a DM today to my Instagram handle, the Deborah Ijoma, if you send me a DM with the word more, I know that you're from here and I would give you that training for free. Bills on me. I would give to you that training for free. All you need to do is send me a DM with the word more to at the Deborah Ijeoma. That's the you know handle appearing on your screen. The Deborah Ijeoma on Instagram. Just send me the keyword more. Don't say too much. And I would share it with you because you need to be able to take stock of what your life is supposed to be like and say okay what skills do I need to own? What um what resources do I need to gather? You know, how do I put my past results? How do I put my past successes? How do I put my past skill sets? How do I realign my schedule to ensure that this more that everybody is talking about, there is room for that more in my life? Do you see? How do you say to yourself, oh, I'm going to quit distraction. I realize that every time I call my friends, all we talk about are random stuff. So I'm going to cut down that time and I'm going to spend at least 30 to one hour every day investing in my more. How many of us are making decisions like that today? You know, and my training, my free training is going to absolutely help you, you know, with the things that you're supposed to do, even as you make these decisions. Do you see? So all you need to do is send the DM once we're done with this session and I will share with you for free, no extra charge, okay? Perfect. Now, I need you to also create a go-to action template. How can you send a DM? Send a DM to the Deborah Ijeoma on Instagram or send me an email at hello at deborahijeoma.com. Anyone works. It's either you're sending a mail to hello at deborahijeoma.com or you're sending a DM to the Deborah Ijeoma. But don't worry, you can still stay here. You can do that just after the session, okay? So now, this is your own time to take a go, a go take action and say, you know what? I'm the only one that knows my life. Yes, Deborah has given me some tips to use today. Yes, Deborah has said some things today. But the truth is, I'm the only one that knows my life. I'm the one that knows where I am lacking what I can do better, the things that I have held on to that has allowed me consistently play small. It is only me that knows those things. So you know what? Today, I'm going to create an action template and I'm going to say not anymore. So I'm going to create an action template. An action template can be as simple as, oh, I would send a DM to the bride drama and when she sends that free training, I will sit down with it and I will not just sit down with it. I would, you know, take action. If she says I should ask myself this question, I would ask myself this question. If she says I should start sharing my knowledge, start sharing my skill set, start becoming intentional about pouring out the goodness on the inside of me and sharing it with the world so I can make impact, I will do it. And the truth is there's so much gem on the inside of you. There's so much goodness on the inside of you. But sometimes we even struggle to consistently see these things. And that's why if there's anything you're going to do today, you're going to need to lay a strong foundation of the picture of God's love for you. Because these days, there are a lot of things that can hinder your identity. Oh, I don't think I sound well. Oh, I don't think I look well. Oh, I don't think I'm qualified. Oh, I don't think I'm the best person for this role. Oh, what if people don't listen to me? There's so much that we can hold on to that can really just pull us back. But today, you need to ask yourself, okay, how can I lean into the advantage that I have as a result of my love work with God? In the sense that you ask yourself, who does God say I am? What does God say I am? Who does he say I qualify as? What are the things he says I qualify for? If God says I qualify, then I qualify. I'm not going to exempt myself from the things that God has qualified me for. Do you see? So these are the things you need to start saying to yourself. However, it's very important. So now, how do you experience clarity for excellent execution? I want to ask a question. How many of us have seen a problem that maybe people have 
and said, oh, I'm going to create something to solve this problem, but somehow you didn't follow through with it. Is there anybody in this room that has had that experience? Is there anybody, even if it's one person, you're the one person I'm looking for. Is there any one person that has had this experience? You saw a problem, maybe something someone was struggling with in school or something someone was struggling with in their life or in their career. Amazing. Francisca says yes. Now, the truth is, sometimes we get so carried away in our own self, in our own challenges, in our own decisions, yeah, that we forget that there are people out there that need us. So for you to even experience clarity for excellent execution, the first thing you're going to need to do is to embrace people repentance. And every time I talk about people repentance, it feels weird. Like, oh, what's people repentance? It's as simple as shifting how you see people. Shifting how you see people. Most of us see people as transactional. So that's why the first thing we're always asking is, oh, would they listen to me? Would they buy? Would they say yes to it? If I make a video, would they watch? You know, we see people as transaction. So we're doing something in exchange for something. But more than that, I need you to start to see people as people. People as people in the sense that you see them as people that God created, as people who have problems and need the answer that you carry on the inside of you. So rather than you saying, oh, what if I make the, what if I start the YouTube channel and nobody watches? What if I launch the book and nobody um, reads it? What if I start that business and nobody buys? I need you to ask yourself, oh, how can I really put myself in front of the right people that need this? And this is where you need to stop playing like a disco with the things that you've been committed with. You know, this is where you need to start saying, oh, all that it would need me, if it means me changing how I talk about what I do. For some of us, we don't understand the right messaging. We don't know how to say the right words to attract the right audience. For some of us, we just post and go. We're not intentional about the things we're saying. There's no passion in our voice. There's no commitment in our voice. So we cannot even connect to these people that we've been sent to. So when you embrace people repentance, first thing it's going to do for you is that it's going to help you shift your lens. So you will no longer see people as transactional tools. You will no longer be asking first questions like, oh, would they buy? Would they say yes? Would they this? Would they that? You will start to ask yourself, okay, what do I need to do? Do I need to change how I speak about what I speak about? Do I need to work with the strategies that would help me create solid strategies that would, you know, attract the right people? Or do I even need to change how I show up? You know, maybe you just post your videos randomly, you just say the things you do randomly, or you just post, there's no follow-up, there's no registration, there's no extra push, there's no intentionality. Today, you say, you know what, I'm going to see people for who they are. I'm going to see people like they actually need what I'm about to execute. Like they actually need this idea, they need this program that I've created, they need this program that I am, you know, creating or i am hosting they need this product that i am launching so i am going to say the right things to attract them so this is where you start to say oh more than just getting certificates as an expert i'm going to become intentional about the things i say to people how many of us are going to make a change today how many of us are going to move from just seeing people as transactional material to saying, you know what, all that I need to do to get to the front of all the people that need what I am creating, I am going to do it. And I'm also committing to helping you do this. That's why I'm giving you my training for free. I'm not asking you to pay anything for it. This is something that you typically pay hundreds of dollars for, but I am giving you for free because I'm like, you know what? If people are confident enough to go out there to experience these things, to see what it means to be confident to launch those ideas, then it would make a lot of difference in their journey. So what's the first thing that we're going to do? Who's going to tell me the first thing that we're going to do? Who's going to tell me the first thing that we're going to do from today? Anybody? Okay, so Mary says she's going to make a change. Who else is going to tell me the first thing we're going to do? Amazing. Esther also says, also agrees. She's like, me, I'm going to make a change. Yes. Julius is saying, yes, I'm going to make a change. Now, Adela is like, oh, yes, I'm going to make a change. Me too. Now, when you make a shift from seeing people for as transactional materials to seeing them as you know people who actually have pressing problems that require a solution the next thing you're going to do is 
embrace purpose repentance and what does purpose repentance mean purpose repentance is you literally just saying you know what in the past i have tied my purpose to this thing that i want to do in the past i have tied my purpose to oh um i'm a business owner oh i'm a speaker oh i run a foundation oh i'm an ngo owner oh i work in the corporate sector oh i'm a texas i have tied my purpose to all these things but now i will separate my purpose from these things so that i am not too emotionally invested and i am thinking logically i am making same decisions to making sure that all that i need to do for this i am going after it so i'm embracing purpose repentance in the sense that you're saying you know what yes my purpose is that one thing that I must do here on earth, that if I succeed at all other things, but I don't succeed at that one thing, I have failed. Perfect. I understand that. So I am not going to tie the outcome of this thing to my purpose. I'm not going to let the outcome of this thing define me. Now, I want us to even celebrate, you know, I want us to celebrate Blossom today, you know. Um, she's the governor of this program. And imagine if she just stayed focused, like, oh, what if nobody attends? What if nobody signs up? What if nobody, you know, listens to me when I put out an invite? What if I reach out to the speakers and they don't agree? What if, what if, what if? Imagine if she tied her definition, tied her identity, tied her self-esteem, you know, to the outcome of this idea that she had. What would happen to all of us here today? We won't be here. So the same way you're a benefit of somebody's execution, the same way you're a benefit of somebody's assignment, the same way you're excited today, you're charged, you're getting a training for free, you're, you're learning all of these things without having to pay. That's the same way I need you to take a decision that I am going to put the outcomes aside and I am going to go for gold and do all that I need to do. And if you need help with being confident about launching your idea, I'm here. And that's why I've decided, you know, everyone that shows up for this session and sends me a DM, to my Instagram handle, the Deborah Ijama, yeah, I would send you a free training for free. All you need to do is send me a DM with the word more, and I will send it to you for free so that you can understand my simple five formula for being confident about doing this thing. So rather than asking questions like, what if nobody signs up? What if nobody this? What if nobody that? And even when you embrace purpose repentance, it will now bring you to a point where you can ask real questions. So for example, you ask questions like, if you always feel like, oh, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to communicate the value of what it is that I am creating yes i know i have this skill yes i know i have this expertise and i know that if i put it together intentionally i can really solve pressing problems however i consistently find that i don't know how to communicate this thing if you embrace purpose repentance and you come to a point where you start to ask yourself questions from a lens of people repentance and you say oh who exactly needs this thing that i am creating you define them you say, oh, the person that needs what I'm creating. So for me, I say things like, oh, the person that needs what I'm creating is someone who has expertise, someone who has experiences, someone who has skills, someone who has, you know, talent. And they are saying, you know what? I want to be able to make a change, grow my influence, make impact, grow my income so that I don't have to chase for opportunities. I don't have to chase, you know, premium opportunities. Premium opportunities come to me. Pay clients come to me. Paid opportunities come to me. I have defined the people that I want to be able to help. So now I would ask myself, what are the problems that they have? I need to become familiar. So you too, you will need to become familiar with the common problems that the people that you're looking to help have so for example they might have issues with understanding the right steps to take and i'm like okay i understand you're having issues with under understanding the right steps to take no problem i'm here to help i have a resource to answer that i have created something to solve that problem and i'm giving it to you oh they have issues with understanding how to say the right things how to showcase this value that they have no problem i'm here with you oh they have issues planning how to go about exactly executing this thing down to the tiniest details to the kind of emails to send to the kind of posts to make to the kind of ads to the kind of conversations to have to the kind of of content to create and the kind of content to put out i'm like you know what no problem i can create a strategy for you so you see how i have merged the people that I am looking out to help with the purpose that I have, you know, taken up on myself and the decision I have made and how I have left the outcome aside and I have said, oh, what exactly do they need? 
and I have gone ahead to create. So this will be your own question. Who have I been sent to? This thing I'm creating, this idea I have lost for a while, who is it for? And more than even doing this idea on a one-off, more than doing it maybe once in a year, how can I create a system to consistently keep this thing running? That 247, 365 days a year, people are consistently impacted by my gifts. These are questions that you need to consistently ask yourself. So how can I do it in a way that, oh, it's not a one-time wonder. It's not a one-time thing. We have track record. We have data. If people wake me up and say, oh, how many people have you helped? How many people have you trained this year? We have data to back these things. And these are the things that would even help you attract opportunities. Because when opportunities come and they say, okay, tell your story, your story would have value. You can say, hi, my name is Deborah. This is what I do. This is how I help. This is the structure that I have put in place to ensure that I help people and I create impact. This is how much I have made. This is what I need. And that way is easy for you to assess opportunities. It's easy for you to step into that more. And we're not even going to, you know, dive deep into the fulfillment that comes in from effectively stewarding your skills. And this can be your life. I want somebody to say in the comment section, this is my life. This can be my life. This is my life. So two things we've decided to do. And who's going to tell me the two things? First thing, we've decided to embrace people repentance, where we say we're no longer going to see them as purely transaction, but we're going to see them for who they are, the needs that they have, and we're going to help them with those needs that they have. And then we've decided to embrace purpose repentance, where we say, you know what, we're separating ourselves from the outcome. We're no longer, you know, allowing ourselves to be held back by the what ifs and what if nots. We are going all out. We are saying, oh, remember the first question I asked? When you lean in and you say, what have I embraced as alternative? You now lean out and say, okay, who am I supposed to portray myself as? Who am I supposed to position myself as? Oh, there are thousands of people who need this talent that I have, who need this skill that I have. How can I move from doing it randomly to systemizing this thing so that it's the most intentional and I'm getting the best result out of all of this? So we embrace people repentance, we embrace purpose repentance, and then most importantly, the third one, we embrace part repentance. And when we embrace part repentance, it's as simple as saying, you know what, I have done it this way for the past two years, for the past three years, for the past three months, for the past 12 months, but I sense that this path is no longer functioning. Oh, I sense that, oh, this path is not the best use of my time. This path is not the best use of my resources. This path is not the best use of my skill set. So I'm going to leave this path and I'm going to embrace a new path. So embracing a new path can be saying, oh, I have used this business model in the past, or I have run my business this way in the past. I have run my NGO this way in the past. I have run my, you know, I have done my work this way in the past and i've just been dancing around in circles because i want to embrace more because i want to step into excellent execution i'm going to start to explore other options that are available to me i'm no longer going to limit myself to only one method i'm no longer going to limit myself to only one step i'm no longer going to limit myself to only one way it's a new year and even though I'm not a big fan of the whole new year, new me, but you need to ask yourself, oh, there are other gifts that I have. If this path isn't allowing me to, you know, showcase my gifts to the best of my abilities and to the best ways that I can, then I'm going to embrace another path. So for me, even though I was excelling on my path with just retailing journals, I knew I could be more. I wanted to be able to speak with people and help them embrace that mindset shift so that whatever it is they have held on to, whatever it is that they've decided to execute, they can do it. And yes, while I was solving a level of problem with my journals, I knew that I could solve a bigger type of problem. So I said, you know what? Because I want to embrace the clarity for excellent execution, I'm going to embrace a new path. And then I embrace the new path. And now I work with brilliant, mind, brilliant minds like you. So I say, you know what? Let's take this your experience. Let's take this your expertise. Let's take this your idea. Let's take this your decision, you know, and let's hold on to it. This is a new way you can do it. Rather than doing it this way, doing it randomly, doing it whenever you like, doing it when you have time. How about we create a new plan, create a new strategy, create a new path 
you know, and then say, we're going to solve this problem this way. And that's how I started on a new path. And because I started on a new path, I've been able to attract more opportunities. I'm here today because I embraced a new path. And this can be you too. This can be you too. So I don't just want you to see all of the things we've talked about to say today and say, oh, it's for maybe only a select type of people. Oh, it's for only maybe a certain type of people. Maybe it's for only geneticists and let them, or maybe it's for only blossom. No, I want you to see it like this is for you too. And if you're able to set these three things in place, yeah, you would be just on the right journey for excellent execution. Now, I know I have said so much, but I want to hear from you. Based on everything that I have shared, what's one thing that even if they shake everything away from you, what's one thing that you're leaving this session tonight with? What's one thing? I have said so much. I have shared so much. What's one thing that has stood out for you so far? And what is one new decision that you're leaving here with? I believe we've learned so much and we're typing that already. Amazing. Amazing. Well done to you to Faith. You've been you've been so attentive. You've been listening. You've been intentional. I'm clapping for all of you. The fact that you've been here for a while. So Mr. Elect says, you know, he has lent clarity for execution. And what's important to him is that, you know, he understands people's repentance, knowing the need that people have and helping them solve it wholeheartedly, not just seeing people as transactional material. Amazing, amazing, amazing 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 what else have you learned what else have you learned who else has learned something super amazing today who else is it only mr elect who else has learned something super amazing today Hmm, amazing. So, yes, the decision of embracing path repentance. And I think I just want to be able to circle down to that path repentance again. Most times we hold some certain paths to our chest, like, oh, this is how I've been doing it forever. This is how I've been doing it for the longest time. Even though we're not getting the most result, even though it's not the best use of our time, even though it's not the best use of our resources, even though it's not the best use of our skill sets, sometimes because we like to stay in familiar territories, territory, sorry. We like to stay in familiar zones. We like to stay in familiar things. So we say, you know what? This is how I've done it for the past five years. Let's just keep doing it like this. Let's just keep marking it at end as as done. We're not caring whether it's growing so much or it's still stagnant. We're not caring whether it's attracting the right audience or not. We're not caring whether the numbers are increasing. We're just staying stuck on the familiar. But I don't know who I'm speaking to tonight, but I hope that you let go of this familiar and embrace more. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Nature just says she's creating a new action plan. She's creating a new strategy for herself. Who else is living here with any new decision? Amazing. Nafisen says we should be intentional about what we want to do. Yes, you really cannot just, you know, do things randomly. Oh, let's just do things how it goes. Or let's see how it goes. Let's wink it. No, that shouldn't be your life. Yes, Esther says, you know, she's going to be intentional about finding solutions to problems. Yes, every idea you must birth must be as a result of a solution that you're trying to produce as a so as a result of a solution that you're trying to produce so for daniel his own light bulb moment was the people repentance where he's saying you know what i need to stop seeing people as transactional material but i seeing them as people people that have problems people that have needs and i'm going to go all out if it means me you know learning new skills if it means me working with the strategist it means me investing in myself, investing in more, investing in new gadgets, just so that I am right in front of the people who need me. I'm going to embrace that people repentance. And that's such a good decision of her progress and embracing more. Yes, it's so important that you're keeping track. Maverick says, one thing I have learned is that I can never know who would benefit from my execution. So I should not be affected by the outcome. I would like you to leave that on the screen for a while, for real, because the truth is, it's so easy for us to look at all of the what is all of the, oh, what if nobody answers? What if nobody buys? But the truth is, you really don't know who that one person is. And the funny thing about execution is that 
there are a lot of people that can benefit from your execution. There are a lot of people that can benefit from you launching that idea, from you going out, from you stepping out of your comfort zone, from you launching it and launching it systematically. Do you get? So it's important that you say, oh, I'm going to leave the outcome outside in the sense that I'm not going to focus on, oh, what if they don't listen? I'm going to flip the outcome questions that I have in my mind. So rather than saying, what if they don't listen to me? I would say, how can I become that person that ensures that people listen to me when I speak? So how do I need to position myself? Who do I need to portray myself as? What do I need to do? How do I need to embrace you know, a magnetic messaging that would allow me just step into the right zone so that when I speak, I command the right attention and I am just in front of the right people who need me. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I love it. I love it. So even as we wrap up, does anyone have any questions, anything that wasn't so clear, anything that you need clarity on? Yes, everyone should be like married, please. Don't wait till January. Don't wait till January. Start now. Fix all the fixables now. And tell yourself, you know what, I'm going to go as far as I need to go for this idea to be an absolute success. Okay? It's been such an amazing time, you know, learning from such an energetic audience. Amazing, 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 amazing. I'm so excited about, you know, all of the action that you're going to take, all of the decisions you're going to make, how you're going to go all out, how you're going to make new decisions and what's possible i can't wait for somebody to send me an email maybe six months from now and say oh as a result of that session do you know what i implemented the things you said i stopped looking at you know people as transactional material i said to showcase value i leaned into strategy i stopped guesswork and guess what now i've been able to do this i've been able to grow my influence i've been able to attract the right opportunities my work is now recognized people see me and see the value of what it is that i create and i can't wait for your story to change so thank you so 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 much you know for being such an energetic audience today and if there's no question this is the point where i just bring the covena you know back so that she can speak with us and she can drive this amazing conference moving forward it's been so amazing thank you so much thank you so much for paying attention it's so rare to see people take out time to invest in themselves so here's me applauding you for taking the decision to be here today congratulations okay wow <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much, Deborah. Thank, thank you, you thank you. Me. Thank you so much. What a blast. This session was amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone, say thank you to Deborah. Oh, okay. Thank yes. you for this session. Someone has a question. Please okay. share. If there's a question, please share. Someone has a question. Okay, so I can't see the question. Mm, Who, okay. has, Maybe Who has a question? Me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Esther. Thank you for being here and paying attention. Yeah, thank everyone, so thank you, thank Deborah. You. Thank you, yeah, thank you. <laughs> wow. This wow. Was amazing because you were here. Thank you. Thank yeah. You so Oh, you sent the question earlier. Please, do you mind resending it again? Or is it possible for um, Favor to maybe scroll through the questions and see if okay. we can the question? Amazing. Thank you. Let me see. Thank you to thank you. Thank you for being such an attentive audience, such a yeah. fire like audience. If you can't find it, is it possible for you to send in the question again? If you can send it again, I also, that would be nice. I also didn't see any question in person. Yeah, I didn't see any Mr. Left question. It again, if you don't mind. Thank you. No, I didn't see any. 
Wow, wow, wow. Okay, as he sent it, is that his question? Is this a question or a contribution? Mm -hmm. If it's a contribution, I think I did read it out. Yeah. Because mm -hmm, I actually this saw that. Yeah. Was yeah. it like a question? If this is a question, I'm not sure I understand how much of a question this is. Do you mind reframing it so that I know how best to provide the right answers for you? Okay. Oh, okay. I'm not sure this question is full. I'm just seeing as someone who has multiple ideas. I'm not yeah. Seeing. Maybe she can have a look on the question and then we can. Yeah, whenever he sends it or she yeah. sends it. Yes. Thank you, so Vivian. Thank you for being such a wow. Thank you so much, yeah. Jeanette. Thank you wow. so much. Everyone, keep the thank you rolling. Keep it rolling. Yes, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Thank you. So much. <laughs> we got a lot of value. Keep the thank you rolling. You can see we've gotten so many gifts from Deborah. She has yeah, given us free training. <laughs> so please not yeah. forget to go to her DM or her email and send her a message more because this is something you're going to be paying she told you she's, you're going to be paying like millions of so dollars <laughs> then, then you're getting it for free and then thank, thank bless her so she, she made this happen okay so yes, definitely, I'm definitely. Um, maverick says how does one build the right network for growth there are a thousand and one things you can do but here's one thing i consistently see people miss out on we always like to go for gold. Yeah, oh, I think there's somebody that has what I need. Oh, this person, she looks like she has the skills that I want. I want to connect with her. I want this person to be in my network, yeah? But then I want you to build a network of yourself first. Because when you build yourself up in value, you showcase your value, you're intentional about it, and all of those things here, it would be easy for you to attract other people who share the same network. So I'm just here thinking about the people who are in my network. And yeah. I can say 99% of them came as a result of the value that I'm sharing. So it's just a case of, oh, I know you, you speak about these things and even when i try to reach out or when i try to connect with people it's a lot easier for for them to accept me into their session yeah it's a lot easier for them um, sorry i missed my words it's a lot easier for them to accept me into their network and into their circle because i'm a person of value so first you, you see that one person those two people that you admire and you're like oh i want to be a part of their network Ask yourself, oh, why do I admire this person? Why do I want to be a part of this person's network? And how can I become this kind of person that I am looking to, you know, connect with? So that when you're connecting with them, it's not parasitic. It feels like a mirror. They see a reflection of themselves in you. So it's easy for them to be welcoming and, you know, open you up to their network. Do you think, you know, I could have answered that a bit more detailed or I did good justice in that? Mm. Think we'll just yeah, you nailed it. You nailed it. You nailed it. Amazing. <laughs> Is there any other so questions? Any more questions? Is there any other questions? Yes, please take any, this one. Any so, other questions? Any other we put in this together. Thank you to Avanka Creative. Thank you. Any other question? Any other question? Okay, our Zoom, most of the questions are existed. Because most people are just really sharing like their feedback. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, just feedback. They're just sharing just feedback. Okay, I think we can move on.
think we can move on right now since no more question. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Deborah. Thank you. You've had so much value. Thank you thank so you much. Me. Thank you. So who is ready to take action right now? Who is ready? Who is ready to take action right now? If you're ready to take action, say it in the comment section. I'm ready to take action. Who is ready to embrace the purpose repentance? Who is ready to embrace the path repentance? And who is ready to embrace the people's repentance who is ready right now i want you to put in the comment section i am ready i am ready i am ready it's not just enough to listen but also to take action too so who is ready to take action right now wow thank you so much thank you so much thank you so thank much you. We've, we've learned we've really learned a lot we've learned a lot thank, thank you thank you i'm in the comment section i'm in the comment section i can see your comments thank you well thank you so much amazing people you guys your energy are really contagious thank you thank you thank you thank you wow I really love the part of journaling that Deborah was talking about, and it was really constant with um, Janet. Janet also talked about journaling. So who is ready to journal? Who is ready to get yourself a journal and start journaling? Because it is of great paramount. Like, it's of great importance. Please. Wow, this session was amazing. It's amazing. I can't get over this. I can't get over this session. Wow, who is ready? Who is start journaling right now? Who is starting? Well, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So we're going to be moving into the next um, thing we have right now. I'm going to be calling up our convener, the most beautiful, the most talented, our boss, our mentor. <laughs> we're going to be calling up our convener right now, Blossom OV, to um, continue this session for the exhibition. Blizzom Obi, if you're around, please grace us with your presence. <laughs> please, with a round of applause, please welcome our convener. Look at how beautiful she's looking. Please welcome her, welcome her. Welcome. <laughs> you're welcome, Blizzom Obi. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, thank you, everyone. And a big, big, massive, massive celebration to yourself for making it out here tonight. Like very, very few persons, right? Take that extra step to actually be committed and intentional about your growth. So massive, massive shout out to you. And just know that this is just the beginning of great things for yourself. As long as you implement everything that you've heard from day one through to day two, and then keep growing, stay passionate about your growth, the sky is your starting point. So down to our um, exhibition winners. It was tough. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Wow. It was, <laughs> it was, it was a tough one. It was a tough one. But we have our winners, and it was super yes. easy to qualify. It was super easy, but you just found out that some people there was a time lapse. So the 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 um the time we we're going to make sure that a lot of people we chose our winners. There was a time lapse to the submission. I mean, it was like okay. some people the fifth your video, invite my friends, and then the last one was like follow us on all social media platforms. So we have people yeah, following yeah. us after the 25th. Well, so, like it, it wasn't gonna count because 25th was the the time loop. And so it was it was a tough one. Some people went as as far as inviting <laughs> over 10 persons and massive shout out to let me just um um just call out the people who actually drew my attention. Um, especially like this brand. So Mara's Place, any Gromic World wow. comes through. Massive shout out to you guys. Jory, J, Sabrina, BB Sent. Massive, massive shout out. I, I just felt like, okay, probably next conference you'll have more giveaway to support all of these businesses. <laughs> I don't have to wow. so tired, you know, having to choose from all these amazing people. And, <laughs> Is you see young women putting themselves out there to make sure that they are giving their light in different aspects of and different fields and different walks of life. So it was it was basically an eye revealer. So basic um we're gonna start with uh we like to say second run up. Yeah, so um the cash prize who's excited? 
Woo! <laughs> Who's excited? I'm going to go away. So for you guys to start dropping the fire and then to make sure that everybody's... Who, if, if you know who's supposed to be on the call to celebrate a win right now, get them here. So I, I'm going to go away for like two seconds and start dropping your... Start, start dropping. Who's excited? Just... Who's excited? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm super excited because I can't wait to hear the winner. I super cannot wait. Who is excited to hear the winner with me? Please fill the comment section with a lot of fire, with emojis. Please, please, please. Who is excited? You can call your friends right now to come and rejoice with you. It's not easy to win 150K. It's not easy at all. If it's easy, run now. <laughs> Who is excited, guys? I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I can't wait to hear the winner. I cannot wait. Oh, my God. Who is excited? Let me move into the comment session and see what's happening there. Okay, so um, we have two winners. Sorry. Yeah. yeah no, this is not for one person, though. I, I needed to put that out. <laughs> so it's actually for two, um, two brands, two business owners. And yeah, so hopefully um, next year conference, we should be able to do more. Like we're actually looking to about 10 businesses. So God willing, wow. we should be able to do more. And I don't know from everything that the world has dropped on or not. Yeah. If you are still <laughs> not strategizing properly. So basically, um, I was excited. So, yeah, excited. I <laughs> You know that moment you, you already know your winners, but you don't want the other party. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know how to announce it right now. Yes, I, I'm just gonna call our winners right now. So um in second place, winning the cash prize of um fifty thousand naira for her business, which is guys, are you ready? Um cakes. So I posted an AK Vivian, if I'm if I'm correct. So oh yes. Oh my god. So an AK ah. Vivian, you are you, you came second place and you qualified in all all ramifications, social media wise, sending your video, telling us what the pain points that the money was gonna um, solve, regardless of you wow. even knowing how it was going to be allocated to you. And um yeah, you went ahead to drag people to the event. So, wow, wow, wow. And so, every single person you won in your own um, space, it was just the time loop that, that really made it just like that was it. Like, that was just what affected a lot of people. It was really difficult to find the winners, but then we had to like. There was a time loop in place, and then he had like strict instructions to follow to qualify. So a lot of people just sent in their video. They didn't go take that extra step for that to follow through with other qualification uh, method. So for you know, going for the first place, whoa! Surprise! <laughs> going to the business first position. True Women Fifth Edition 2023. Oh my God! Winner goes to. Wow! Wait, like I want to see some kind of comment. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it goes to Any's World. Woo! Any's World. Basically, she. I did it. This is like a big shout out to you. I wanted to say I'd love to meet you in person, but then location bound. So um massive shout out, and then I wish your brand um more win, more progress. And I really want to appreciate every single person who um participated. Like, guys, trust me, everything um everything you you shared with us and tagged. The foundation it was lovely and it felt like you know that moment where you just you're trusting god to just expand you bigger 
so that you could actually impact more people. So I felt very um I felt very touched by every single person's video and the tags and comments. So thank you so much for being a part of TWC23. Room for more. Make sure that you are implementing all of the everything that you heard, all the values, all the strategies that you've involved. Make sure that you're in Deborah DM. Tag on IG and send and get get that strategy template. Wow, 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 wow. Last in 2024. So um basically, so the winners should um send us a DM, right? Send us a DM. You should be in the community group, so we will communicate with you. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Plusomobi. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oh my God. Congratulations to the winners. Congratulations, anyways. Congratulations, Pumps Cake. Oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Super congratulations, guys. Super congratulations. I'm so happy for you all. I'm so, so happy. I'm so happy. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. The, the comment session is on fire. <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Wow. This brings us to the end of the fifth edition of the True Women's Conference. Who is excited? And I believe you got value for your time. You got value for, for the stress you had to go through with the business, with bringing people and everything. I believe you had value. You heard um, Blossom speak. You heard from the speaker, Janet, the seller. You also heard from Deborah. So please, let's put this all in action put it to action do not just listen but put it to action thank you so much and it's time to say bye